In this video, I will talk about the conservation of AC power. This is also known as the theorem of conservation of complex power. The theorem of conservation of complex power states that for a network supplied by independent sources all at the same frequency, the sum of complex power supplied by the independent sources equals the sum of the complex power absorbed by all other elements of the network. See, for a network with several independent sources all are operating at the same frequency. The sum of the complex power supplied by the sources will be equal to the sum of the complex power absorbed by the elements of the network. In mathematical form, I can write it like this. The sum of the supply power by the independent sources will be exactly equal to the sum of the complex powers absorbed or delivered to the loads if the independent sources are operating at the same frequency okay let's say i have an ac circuit in which i have several voltage sources let's say rms value of that is vg1 vg2 i have several current sources ig3 ig4 if let's say sg1 is the complex power supplied by the vg1 sg2 is the complex power supplied by the vg2 source sg3 is the complex power supplied by the ig3 and SG4 is the complex power supplied by the IG4. Okay, so the sum of the complex power supplied that means the sum of the complex power supplied in the circuit will be equal to SG1 plus SG2 plus SG3 plus SG4. Now let's say I have several impedances connected in the circuit. Let's say Z1, Z2. Z3, Z4, Z5. Let's say the complex power absorbed by Z1 is S1, Z2 is S2, Z3 is S3, Z4 is S4, and Z5 is S5. Now see, the sum of the complex power absorbed by the elements will be equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4 plus S5. So, according to the theorem of conservation of complex power, a sum of SG1, SG2, SG3 and SG4 will be exactly equal to the sum of S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5 or in brief I can write it the complex power supplied in a circuit will be exactly equal to the sum of complex power absorbed by the elements in the network and it is known as the conservation of AC power in the circuit just like the conservation of energy in a system the supplied energy is equal to the absorbed energy here it will be the supplied complex power exactly equal to the absorbed complex power okay now i will use two series and two parallel impedances to show you the verification of this i will show you that in a circuit whatever the configuration of the supplied voltage or current sources and the impedances the sum of the supplied complex power will be exactly equal to the sum of the absorbed complex powers okay 
let's say I have two impedances Z1 and Z2 they are connected in parallel across the voltage source V the phasor voltage is V the total current in the circuit is I the current that is flowing through the impedance Z1 is I1 the current that is flowing through the impedance Z2 is I2 the RMS value of this source current is VRMS the RMS value of the total current is let's say IRMS the RMS value of I1 is I1 RMS similarly for I2 it is I2 RMS now see the complex conjugate of I RMS will be IRMS prime the complex conjugate of this one will be I1 RMS prime and the complex conjugate of I2 RMS will be I2 RMS prime now see if I want to calculate the total complex power supplied by this source that will be S S will be equal to VRMS the RMS value of voltage supplied by the source into I prime RMS here this I prime RMS is the conjugate of the RMS current that is flowing through this path or total current okay now see if I apply Kishop's current law here I will get this I will be entering and this I1 and I2 will be leaving if I consider the RMS values I will get I RMS equal to I1 RMS plus I2 RMS now see instead of taking I RMS if I take their conjugate I will get I prime RMS is equal to I1 RMS prime plus I2 RMS prime so if I put I RMS prime equal to I1 RMS prime plus I2 RMS prime here I will get V RMS will get multiplied with I1 RMS prime plus I2 RMS prime now see if I take their individual multiplication I will get V RMS into I1 RMS prime plus V RMS into I2 RMS prime now see this V RMS into I1 RMS the RMS voltage across this impedance Z1 is V RMS and the conjugate of RMS value of current that is flowing through the impedance Z1 is I1 RMS prime so I can say that this will indicate the complex power absorbed by the impedance Z1 or I can say this will be S1 Similarly, I can say that this VRMS into I2 RMS prime will be S2. So you will see that the supplied complex power is S and the absorbed complex powers are S1 and S2. The sum of the complex power supplied by the source will be exactly equal to the sum of complex power absorbed by the elements or loads. Let's say those two impedances connected in series like this across a voltage source V the total current in the circuit is I 
the voltage across the z1 is v1 across the z2 is v2 therefore the supply voltage is v the total current in the circuit is i the voltage across z1 is v1 the voltage across z2 is v2 let's say the rms value of supplied voltage is v rms total current of RMS value of total current is I RMS, RMS value of V1 is V1 RMS, RMS value of V2 is V2 RMS. Now see, if I apply Kishop's voltage law around the loop and consider the RMS value of voltages. I will get V RMS is equal to the V1 RMS plus V2 RMS. Now see the current I remains same all over the circuit and the conjugate of I RMS will be I RMS prime. Therefore the total power supplied by the source if I denote that with S, S will be equal to VRMS into IRMS prime. Now see, from this equation we get VRMS equal to V1RMS plus V2RMS. into I RMS prime. Now see if I separate out them I will get V1 RMS into I RMS prime plus V2 RMS into I RMS prime. Now see this V1 RMS into I prime RMS will be the complex power absorbed by the impedance Z1. Therefore, it will be S1. The current flowing through the impedance Z2 is I and the, its RMS value is I RMS and its conjugate is I RMS prime. And the voltage across this Z2 is V2 RMS. So, this V2 RMS into I RMS prime will be the complex power absorbed by the impedance Z2. Therefore, you will see the complex power supplied by the source will be equal to the sum of complex power absorbed by the impedances or loads. So, from both series and parallel impedances, we can see that the complex power supplied by the source is equal to the sum of the complex power delivered to the load. So, we can conclude that whether the loads are connected in series or in parallel. In general, the total power supplied by the source equals to the power delivered to the loads. Thus, in general, we can write it like this. If the complex power supplied by the source is S for n elements in an AC circuit, we can write down the complex power supplied by the source is equal to the complex power delivered to the loads or S equal to S1 plus S2 up to Sn. This means that the complex power in a network is the sum of the complex power of the individual components in the network. Okay, that's it. Thank you.